Have you ever wondered how a Stirling engine works and how efficient they are? Let's start by explaining what a Stirling engine is. This is an external combustion engine which converts heat energy into mechanical energy. An internal combustion engine, for example, your car uses fuel while the Stirling engine has a fixed amount of gas within a closed system. This makes the engine extremely quiet and efficient. A Stirling engine works in a four-step cycle. Step 1. Heating and expansion. A heat source such as a flame heats the gas inside of a hot cylinder. This gas heats up and creates an increase of pressure which forces a power piston to perform work. Step 2 is the transfer. While the working gas is moved to the cold cylinder, it passes through a regenerator, which can be seen as a heat exchanger. It transfers its heat to the regenerator and cools down the gas. Step 3 is the cooling and compression. The gas is cooled by a heat sink. The pressure drops as a result of the cooling of the gas. The power piston which moved is now easily pushed back by the momentum of the flywheel. Step 4 is the cold gas that is being pressed back into the hot chamber, where it can be heated and the process will be started again. Stirling engines are extremely efficient on paper but have quite some challenges in the practical world. The heat transfer is relatively slow, becoming slower by higher temperatures. The gas inside of the system generates a lot of pressure, which can break the seal of the engine and lets the gas escape. Nowadays, these engines are used in solar power generation, submarines and waste heat recovery.